Right, Graham Murphy here, Tech Rental, still having a look at this Hiyoki LR8431-20. Okay, now, we've set up a couple of channels as per the previous videos. Now, what I'm going to do is look at now setting up a, a typical situation whereby we want to record only when we've got a high signal. Now, um, okay, just to I'll show you a little bit here too, by the way, on timing, for example, we can show you, um, this is, the, the current screen so it's sort of having captured something and having stopped you can actually manipulate the data and look at it etc without having to plug it into the PC and download it but anyway if we come back I'm, I'll leave this at about half a second sampling right we want to set up a trigger so I'm going to hit the set button here I'll come across and enable the uh, trigger now I'm going to come down to here and switch it onto a level trigger Okay, now if we come back to the channel, we can set the, now the, the, at the moment, the, the trigger, we're on looking at channel um, one there, so I'm gonna come up to here. Now we set the level, so I'm gonna set the level at about um, 10 volts. Okay, now I'm gonna set a stop trigger, which is gonna stop trigger, yes. Um, yep, that's okay. Condition is on level, and when it goes below when it falls below 10 volts I want to stop but I also want to set up a little bit of pre-trigger now it's back over here sorry um, over here now down here the pre-trigger is the fact I want about say for example two seconds so from the time it sees the trigger we're going to show two seconds of information prior to it triggering so you'll see the line go higher low. Now, if we do this, it'll it'll trigger once and then stop. And we we want to come over here to settings, and what we need to set is repeat is on. So in other words, it will automatically rearm the trigger. Every time it's hit stop, it rearms the trigger to start again. So now let's go through that again. So we've got it set up. When it goes above 10 volts, it's going to start. When it drops below 10 volts, it's going to stop and it's going to rearm itself but also when it goes above 10 volts it's going to give two seconds before it started and that's was set over here under trigger and alarm this is where the pre-trigger amount is and the maximum will record is two hours and 46 minutes while it's high anyway so if i hit start again uh yeah there'll be nothing happening it's waiting waiting for pre-trigger and that'll be waiting for trigger because that was the pre-trigger is the two seconds right no now, if I push this down, there she goes. Now you can see that we've got, there's the two seconds before. Now I take it off and it stops and it's waiting for pre-trigger and it's ready to go again. Clunk. Boom, and there's our signal. Now what we'll have in memory here, it's saved to disk, to save to the, the memory stick will be each one of those triggers and the detail of it. So if I hit stop, yep, and I can, it's not the, the because it's hit, um, because it's on auto pre, uh, it's on, on repeat, we lose the data. We don't, sorry, lose the dis data on this display, um, but we could go over here and um, and record uh, and reload that some of that hang a second file oh sorry just uh, there just something i'd mention here too is that if we come over here the if we go uh, under settings when we set the to csv if we had have used waveform it would have stored it in a format that i could reload into the logger but if I use CSV, it stores in a format that's easy to read on a PC. If you have it in waveform mode, when you have a look at this on the PC, you'll get it, uh, it's easy in CSV, but you've got to convert it from waveform mode to CSV using a little program. So actually, I'll just do a little bit in uh, waveform mode. Okay, so if I hit start, yep. So I hit uh, over the display there and I go hi, thank you, boom. Pull that off, right, etc. Now it's waiting for pre trigger, and I hit start again. I'll take that off, etc. Now, if I hit stop, yep, and I hit file, I hit right arrow, 
I hit right arrow. So here one, this one here, this is the last one um, that's the, I did two of those, so I can hit that, I can load it. Okay, and it's loading it. There it is there, there's the captured amount, and I can hit waveform data and um, fiddle around and see what it is. Now, but if I try and hit file, I'll just come back here. So it's a matter of, um, I hit right arrow, to arrow through now. If I try and select a CSV, um, it, it can't load the CSV. Okay, so you've got to hit, you've got to use these, um, the other file format and um, etc. So there's the CSV files on there, it's the mem format. So in other words, over here under settings, if you use real-time mode, you can reload them back into the, um, the, the little recorder, but you need a program to convert them when you have a look at them on the PC. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the space below and um, see how we go. Thank you. Bye.